let's get a couple more simple things done out of the way quick short video here all right we can do the ashtray i'm going to bring in a circle i'm going to go for 16 vertices when there's no face on there okay there's no face it's just edges and and vertices so you can't hit the period key you switch over to something like that then you can whatever okay so we'll do that and we are going to um, extrude it up like this grab that bottom face E and S and then we'll grid fill that face grid fill I'll go for two And then I'm going to put uh, an edge loop, I think, uh, maybe there, and maybe we'll grab this and bring it up a bit. And then I'm just going to select um, a few faces here, just any ones, and delete them. Select it all, E and Alt S, and pull and give it some thickness, maybe, maybe like that. Uh, I'm going to put uh, an edge loop here and here and along the bottom let's grab the whole thing and pull it up yeah we'll do that we'll put one in there now i think i think i will no it's fine let's try that let's go with that for now and see all right, I want subdivision, so I'm going to select that and do that. And this one is smooth. Don't have to do much more. Let's get that material on it. Uh, we could think about if we want another one in there. Okay, is that too big? Maybe a little bit. Okay, I'm not gonna do any cigarettes. Uh, that's all right. I might just do that. It was just a question of if I wanted it a bit longer in the bottom. I think I'll go with that. Okay, let's come over here to the side and do that little TV or whatever on there. Shift D and scale it. Let's break that in and select it. And go in. For this, I'm going to extrude out ways like that. And then I'm going to grab this edge and I'm going to just pull it in. And then I'll grab this face. B e and S, scale it out a bit. E and I'll just pull forward to give it a little bit of thickness and then inset, very simple. And then E and I'll pull it in. And it's going to be basically it. It's just to figure out the size of that thing. And maybe I'll make the back a little bit bigger. And select that face and just pull out. And I'm also going to delete that face. That's all I'm going to do for that. I'll select the bench though, and I'll get that uh, bevel on it. I guess it's got the material. Okay, and then we'll come in here and we'll do a couple quick pictures. Shift D, scale. Break it out. What happened to it? I better remove doubles in case. 
let's do that again. Shift D, scale, scale in the X. Let's pull it out here. P, maybe I didn't do that right. Some thickness, not too much. Inset ways. Come in a bit. Inset again. Come in a bit more. Select that and give it the same modifier. And we'll bring it back. Positioning, etc., etc. About halfway. Well, it's probably pretty good there. Maybe I'll bring it down a bit. Is that a decent size, though? I feel like it's a bit big. And a bit. There we go. That's what I'm going to do like that. Um, what can I get rid of? Can I get rid of anything? see the bottom. Put that there, shift D, and do another one here. And there's one more of these guys around the edge of the bar, but about there. For and later I'll do the clock and that stuff there. Okay, not much going on there, but we got a couple more items. 